Hi guys and welcome to this video. So as per my last uh, previous video, I recently purchased this milling machine, uh, so I needed a good starter project. In this video I'm going to show you how to make these tea nuts and if you're looking for a beginning project for your milling machine, this is a great way to start. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to measure our tea slot um, so we know how big we need to make our tea nut uh, to fit in there. So we'll just make a quick sketch. So I'm just going to start with the easy dimension which is the one on top. that measures uh, about 14 off no I'm gonna say 13.78 so we've got the slot let's just measure the bottom of that T now so that is 24.6 we want the depth of the T slot measures 22 so that measures 11.45 So the material I'm going to use to make the tea nuts is this um, 25 by 25 square bar. It's just a mild steel. So that actually measures um, 25 .24. Two, six. So we can use that now to work out how much material uh, we need to remove. Just got the material set up in a machine vise and I'm just using a fly cutter at a thousand revs. So we've got our um, stock down to the overall dimensions now. Uh, that was just using a fly cutter at 1000 RPM. Um, so now we'll uh, start looking at putting in the shoulders. So we'll be cutting in a shoulder down this side and down the far side. Um, at the moment the total width matches the wide point of the T-slot down the bottom. Um, so we'll get set up. Um, this time we'll be using a end mill and not a fly cutter to cut in them shoulders. So I'll cut these shoulders in in a few passes, um, just going down 2mm at a time um, and to the full depth from the horizontal. So to measure how deep you cut and just touch that end mill on the side of the material then you can use the increments on the handle for the table to set the distance you're cutting in. So now just to add the holes, um, 
I worked out that I could get, I think it was six T nuts at 34 millimeters long from this bar. So now I've got a 6.8 for the M8. So when I set off the speed uh, was too slow so I had to reset the speed on the milling machine and go again. And just like with the end mill, with the drill I've touched off on the end and the side of the material just so I can measure uh, the back marks for the holes. So now that the holes are drilled we can now tap the drilled holes using an M8 tap. This is a starter tap first. If you haven't done any uh, tapping before then it takes a while just to get a feel of how hard you can push it. You can snap a tap and then that gives you more work to do trying to remove that or it completely ruins the part that you've been working on. Um, so what you want to do is do a few turns, cut in, and then just back off a little bit um, and proceed. And then you can use a larger diameter drill. I used a 10 millimeter drill um, just to touch the top of those tap holes and to take that burr off the top. Just makes it look a lot better. So here I'm just marking out where to cut this bar um, into the individual T-nuts using a permanent marker to mark the steel it makes it easy just to scratch a line um, something I've seen others on here doing um, particularly um, this old Tony check out his YouTube channel So once all the cut marks were uh, marked out, I then just cut them to size using my Evolution miter saw. And so I just finish them off with a file to get rid of any burrs and a bit of uh, um, light sandpaper um, just to clean them up a bit. So if you're uh, just starting off on the milling machine um, I would recommend this book. This is the book I've used uh, for this project for the tea nuts. Um, there are lots of other projects in there as well, um, and there's some great uh, drawings and things, um, and some good advice on how to get started on the milling machine. Um, so, as I say, if you're getting started, I would recommend buying this book, um, and I'll put a link um, to where I got this book from in the description below. Please subscribe, hit the like button or comment if you have anything to say, any suggestions, any tips on uh, how to get into milling or how to use a milling machine. Thanks for watching.